Welcome to Pure in Heart Children's Church Online. We are going to have fun with music. You are going to receive a great message, and when Children's Church is over, you are going to be on a mission. Champions, yes, I'm talking to you. You can call me Mr. Alpheus or Mr. Anderson, but don't call me by my middle name. Today is going to be exciting. We are going to learn about praise. Praise seven. And welcome to Children's Church. Dot online. Hello champions, I'm right up here. Yes, right up here. All right, right up here. All right, praise seven, seven Hebrew words for praise. The first word we're gonna learn about today. All right, I want you to get ready, get your workbooks, get ready to win some points. All right, praise is important because praise helps you have a better attitude. Praise helps you to be happy. Praise is almost like your favorite ice cream times 10. All right, it is hot sometimes, sometimes it's cold, but most of the time I love ice cream every single month. But praise is better than ice cream. Praise is all throughout the Bible. The first word, we're gonna learn about Hebrew words for praise because you have the Old Testament, get ready to win some points. The Old Testament has words and they are called Hebrew words. Then you have the New Testament, words that are in the New Testament are words that are Greek, all right? My name is Mr. Alpheus, my name is Greek. All right, my middle name is Greek. We're not talking about my middle name, all right? The first word we're gonna learn today is halal, all right? Psalm 22, verse two says, I will tell of your name to my brothers and my sisters. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. When you give God a halal praise, you are giving God a foolish, I'm gonna show up and show out praise. It's like a, it's like a crazy praise. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to give God a crazy praise for 10 points. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Halal means to give God a foolish, crazy praise. You don't care who knows it. You're gonna be loud. You're gonna use all of your arms, all of your arms, you know what I mean. You're gonna use everything. The next word we're gonna learn about is tahila. Tahila means to sing. Psalm 100 verse four says, enter his gates with thanksgiving. That means you're singing your things. It's like, thank you. Thank you very much. And his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, sing. Bless his name. Tehillah means to sing. All right, for 10 points, I want you to repeat after Mr. Alpheus. We love you. So you're gonna sing we love you. Who do we love? 
Jesus. Who do you love? Jesus. Who do you love? Say it. Who do you love? Who do you, who you can't live without? That's who we're talking about. So repeat after me, Tehillah. We're going to Tehillah means to sing, we love you. We praise you. We adore. Anytime you make a melody, a melody with your voice, you are Tehillah. All right. That's a Hebrew word for praise, which means to sing. The next word, you're going to love this word. It is zamar. Zamar means to praise God on an instrument. You may have somebody doing tehillah. Then you are maybe playing the drums. What instrument am I playing right now? Okay, if you guessed it, you got 10 points. What instrument am I playing right now? If you guessed it, you have 10 points. What instrument am I playing right now? If you guessed it, you have 10 points. Psalm, 30, Psalm 33 verse two says, give thanks to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre. Sing praises to him with a heart of 10 strings. When you praise God on any instrument, you are giving God a Zamar praise. When you praise God by, when you praise God by lifting or throwing up your arms, you are giving God a Yoda praise. Psalm 42. Verse five says, why are you in despair, O oh, my soul? And why have you become disturbed with me? Hoping God, for I shall again praise him for the help of his presence. Guys, it's a lot going on in the world. Many people are sad. Many people are disturbed. Many people are sick. Many people are angry, but when you lift and throw your arms up, not to punch anybody, but to give God a praise, you will feel better in God's presence. Psalm 16 and 11 says, in God's presence, there's fullness of joy and pleasures forevermore. So instead of when you get mad, Instead of getting your hands and do this and be mad the whole day, get your hands up and give God praise. Give God a Yoda praise. It's almost like a cousin to Yoda is Toda. So you have Toda and Yoda. Toda is also, it's like, man, I, ain't, I don't want to give God praise. It's like a sacrifice to stretch your hands out. When you told out and you sing praises and give thanks with everybody, everybody, everybody together giving God praise. Like in Jeremiah 17, 26, and they shall come from the cities of Judah and from the places around Jerusalem, from the land of Benjamin and from the low land. That's like the low country in South Carolina where I'm from from the mountains like Asheville, that's up there where I'm from. From the south, that's down Florida, below South Carolina, all right? Bringing sacrifices of praise to the house of the Lord. God, I don't feel like it. I'm sad, I'm angry, I ain't seen my friends. I can't get the shoes I want. When you give God a toda praise, watch what happens. 
When you praise God, things change. I'm giving you five seconds to give God. I know you don't feel like it. 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 Give God a total praise. Five, four, tres, dos, uno. Give God a total praise because he is worthy. And that's why when you, when you see people in church and they're like, God has been so good to me. And they say, hallelujah. They are giving God a Shabbat praise. Is reaching out with affection to God to feel his hold on us. What does that mean? Psalm 63 and 3 says, because, it's like, because, this is why I'm doing this, because. Why do you give God praise? Say, because. Why are you giving God praise? Say it with me. Because. If anybody got anything to say about your praise, say, because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Somebody say, why are you giving God a praise? You know what you want to tell them? It's going to sound like it's not nice, but this is what I think you should tell them. Worry about your own lips. Worry about your own lips. You say it. Worry about your own lips. You say it. Worry about your own lips. If God's been to you, if God's been good to you too, give God praise because... I dare you to Shabbat God five times for 10 points. All right. On your mark. It's going to get, I'm going to give you five seconds to Shabbat God five times for 10 points. Five, four, three, two, one. Shabbat. The next word is Barak. The next Hebrew word for praise is Barak. You saying Barack Obama? No, not Barack Obama. Barak means to bow or bend at the knee. It means to get on your knees. I want Mr. Alpheus is on his knees. Give God a Barak praise. Psalm 95 verse six says, Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel, Barak, before the Lord, our maker. Let us kneel. A lot of people are taking a knee these days. A lot of people in the past, they've taken a knee, and that represented paying honor to something, bringing attention to something. But in the Bible, when you Barak, when you bend the knee and you take a knee, it is giving God praise. It is honoring God. You are taking a stand for God. How about this next season? It's a lot of things that we don't like. But you know what? It will change when you take a knee for God. And boys and girls, if you do not know Jesus, and you're like, you know what? Who are you praising? We are praising Jesus. We are praising God. Big G-O-D. Exclusively Jesus. That's who we're praying. Boys and girls, be careful not to praise anything other than God. Be careful where you lift your hands. Be careful where you bend your knee. Be careful where you lift your hands. I know we see people lifting their hands in the roller coasters. And say, oh! We see them in the clubs going, what's up? Turn up. Let's get lit. Let's get hype. Be careful because when you lift and extend your hands, it's a sign of praise and surrender. And I would love for you to surrender to Christ by praying this prayer with me. All right?
All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed today. Make sure you subscribe and share. Parents, make sure you give a prize to your, to your students, youth leaders. Give a prize to your students if they want some points. All right? Give them something really good today. And make sure they're giving God the praise. See you next time. See you next time.